Today's lesson, Varavajasana, the seated spinal twist using a chair. Everybody, my name is Christine. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you can make it. I'm coming to you from the Buddha Hills this time. I'm not in Paris this week. I'm bringing you yoga tutorials every week. So if you have questions, if you want to know a little bit more about the pose that I'm proposing, you can go to my website, yogaflowerparis.com, to get more information about it. So if you're ready, then come on. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for coming. Today we are going to be talking about Bharavajasana in a chair, in a chair. It's the seated spinal twist, and this is an adaptation of the classic pose performed as, as I am, seated in a chair. And the variation is perfect for people recovering from a long illness or maybe an elderly person or maybe an overweight person that doesn't have access to this in the classic pose. Um, the physical benefits, it relieves stiffness in the neck and the shoulders and arthritis in the lower back and it tones the abdominal muscles. And the therapeutic benefits is that it relieves, relieves stress, it aids in digestion, and it stimulates the pancreatic functions. So it's kind of good for diabetics as well. You need to avoid it if you have diarrhea, bronchitis, headache, or migraine. So let's get started. What you're gonna need is a chair like this without a back, okay? And perhaps a block or two. The blocks are for little people, short people, um, because the legs have to be at literally at um, a 90 degree angle. So if you're short, that won't be the case and you'll need to put your feet on bricks like this. If you're tall, you don't need bricks at all, but you might need a little bit height, a bit of height in the chair. So you just put some blankets in it, okay? I think I'm pretty much a um, middle person, so I think I'm okay. But I am going to take one of these bricks and I'm gonna put it in between my thighs. Why? Because when I start turning, this knee is going to want to, this hip is going to want to go back and this one forward. And if I grip this brick with mo both my thighs, this helps me to keep this aligned. And this is what we want. So we're going to back up and we're going to press the left buttock, buttocks to the back, the chair back like this. Okay. Both of the feet are parallel to each other and hip width apart. We're going to grasp the chair back with both of the hands, okay? And I'm on the on the inhale, I'm going to elongate the spine, both sides of my waist, and on the exhale, I'm going to start turning. I'm going to look down and see what my knees are doing. Oops, they're trying to do that. So I'm going to grip the brick a little bit harder. Inhale, extend, exhale, turn. Inhale, ascensional. Exhale, turn. And when everything's fine and dandy, you can just turn your head a little bit more to the left or for a little bit more of a, s of a twist in the cervical region. And come back. We'll change sides, swinging around. Again, adjust your feet parallel to each other. The hip touches the chair back. Squeeze the brick with the both of your thighs and clasp the back of the chair. On the inhale, extend the spinal column, both of the sides of the waist. And on the exhale, we go into the torsion. And just get a sneaky look at your knees and see what they're doing. Okay, they're, w they're acting right this time. Inhale, ascend up to the heavens. Exhale, we turn. Inhale up to the heavens. Exhale, we turn and look over your right shoulder. It's your middle back, from your middle back. It's not your lumbers that are turning. It's your middle back. And come back for just a mini one on this side to balance it all out. And there you have it. You release the brick. You come back. And you say goodbye. I hope you found this helpful. Until we see the ne you the next time, take care of one another. 
Namaste. Thank you so much for coming back and visiting my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, you can share it with somebody. And if you haven't already done it, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Take care of each other. Namaste.